What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I've had a few people asking what the settings are for VR in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and because I am on a low spec system I haven't been able to have the settings very high at the moment but thanks to a guy I'll leave the description I'll leave a link in the description for letting us know about this tool thanks for him letting us see the Oculus Trier tool I now get way better performance and I'm able to put the settings right up so you can see here we're doing the landing challenge in Paris Charles de Gaulle this is a heavy airport and you know it may not look smooth on the video but on the headset this is silky smooth like I'm getting I'm not getting any lag on the headset itself um, obviously on the screen when I'm recording the recording software is putting a bit of a load on it so the screen does look a bit worse than it normally would but honestly guys this is absolutely amazing what I'm seeing through what I was th seeing through the headset and obviously you can see from just the views here how high the settings actually are and I'll take a look at the settings in just a moment as well so we're just going to finish this landing challenge and then I'll get into the exact settings of what I've done to be able to get this performance so at the minute I'm getting around because I'm in a heavy area and obviously the snow and the clouds and everything I'm getting around 15 to 20 FPS and that does not seem like a lot but on a low end system doing VR that is everything and not only is it pretty high but it is actually really really smooth like you would you wouldn't think it would be smooth but it's smooth and there's no jittering at all where that was the issues I was getting before I was getting some jittering and some artifacts and things but thanks to the Oculus Trier tool I am now getting smooth performance it may not be a lot of frames but it's enough to be playable basically and have the visuals that you want to have in such a flight simulator as this so let's just get this down I'm not doing the best landing possible ever here um, it was reasonable <laughs> we're down sorry about the audio again for some reason OBS seems to have a problem recording the oculus audio at the minute I can't figure out how to get it to work so we did lose the in-game audio but there we go we are down and we did do pretty reasonable on the score it was a bit of a heavy landing um, and it wasn't great in points, points wise but it was almost a million points there so not too bad not far from down the leaderboard right so let's get into the settings and see what I've done to get this right so if we just go into the VR settings here on graphics you can see I've got render scaling all the way to 100 and it's working fine I've tried I tried lowering it to about 20 and I see uh, sorry to about 80 and I saw no difference in performance so I just bumped it right up to 100 I've got anti-aliasing up to TA which is the highest it can be object level of detail 100 terrain level of detail 100 I've now upped the texture resolution because um, I seem to have no boost on performance terrain shadows I am going to turn them off because I've not seen any difference in the visuals and I think it's better to just turn them off so we'll go into the traffic here for VR I've got everything turned off here um, it's just going to boost performance generic models and to be honest I'm going to turn down the traffic variant all the way to low because I'm not going to be looking at that traffic is not a thing that's around much anyway so what is the point of having it set to medium when you don't ever see any that's the thing with Microsoft Flight Simulator you just don't ever see the traffic even though you've got a set of real life traffic there's just not a lot around so there's no point having it so here we are in the Oculus Trier tool and you can see I've set the default super sampling to 1 and the default AWS mode to 18Hz which should be 18fps and that's what it should stick to. I know people are going to say it's low but it's it's not low when it comes to a flight simulator like this that is a pretty decent rate and you can see all the other options that I've got set. Now I did turn um, GPU scaling off I think that did increase performance I'm not sure what it actually does but it did increase it so 
there you go. And if you did, if you did find this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe, and I'll um, very much appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining today, and here's our little ending screen. So if you do want to subscribe, just click that button on the right. There's a video picked for you by YouTube on the left at the top and a playlist on the bottom right. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.